These woods are a little thick, just at this point, but then they open up on this path. It's a little tricky here. You gotta pay attention to my steps. So down here, is the creek. And this is diverse temperate rainforest. Mount Elvenstone wasn't ever replanted because it wasn't harvested due to a forest fire. So uh, this is second growth forest, but it's still biodiverse because it reseeded itself. Hardly anyone ever comes down here. There is a, um, a fellow who draws water from this creek to feed his horses. I've been coming here for many years. My friends bought this land about 10 years ago. And it uh, slowly took its hold on me. Oh my god, it's so magic in here. I just can't tell you how quiet it feels. There's a creek on SJ's land On the side of Mount Elphinstone I like to go there when I can When I need to spend some time alone And when the sun breaks through the trees And the creek is singing merrily It teems with life's diversity I think how sweet this world can be And on the side of Elphinstone I fell into a trance on the side of Elphinstone, I saw the fairies dance. As we retell stories over and over, which this one I've told so many times because of the song, uh, I'm not sure what is true and what isn't. And isn't that just like the land of fairy? That you're not quite sure where the imagination ends and the real world, whatever that means, begins. So one day, about two weeks before I was coming out here, I woke up, bolt upright in my bed, and I just felt that, well, for lack of better word, that the fairies here on this land wanted to talk to me. This is kind of a fun make-believe game, so I went with it, right? And I got out here and I went down this creek. And I stood, right over there. And I uh, said, okay, I'm here. What do you want? So I stood here and I had this conversation. And in this conversation, these fairies, for lack of a better word, asked me to write them a song about the problems they were having in Mount Elphinstone. And I didn't know anything about any of the issues around here, and I said that, okay, well, I'll write you a song, but you have to um, not play any fairy tricks. And they had to send me all the information I needed in order to write this song. And I tell you, not one minute later, my friend came walking down that path over there and uh, sat down next to me here. And I said, there's a lot of fairies here now. And she went, yep. And then I, she said, out of the blue, she said, but it's really sad what's happening up on the mountain. Really sad. And I looked at her with a double take and I said, what? She said, yeah, well, they're gonna log the mountain. And that's when I made the connection to what the fairies had just told me in this imaginary make-believe game I was playing. And the, you know, facts of the pragmatic situation. A little mind-blowing, if you will, challenging my epistemology. 
And on the side of Elphinstone I fell into a trance and On the side of Elphinstone I saw the fairies dance And they want to log Mount Elphinstone They will if they get the chance And if they log Mount Elphinstone Where will the fairies dance? So the very next day I went down to the little village And there in the cafe, the first person who came up They asked me if I'd sign their petition yet And they gave me 12 pages of photocopied notes about the issues around the log on Mount Elphinstone about the biodiversity of the region and where the logging was taking place and the endangered species that were there and the watershed that was going to be affected. And they warned me of the water, soon to be our greatest need, but they assured me we'd have plenty if we plant a lot of trees. There's seven creeks on Elfin Stone that quench the thirst of those below and bear and cougar and red-legged toad still have some room to roam. Just a few days later, being up in the mountains on Patrick's Pass, not far from there, standing on a rock, and I look down, and there is this white cotton thread attached to what looks like a, a fish hook or something like that, hooked between my feet on the mossy log. On the moss, find this white cotton thread in the woods leading off into the bush, like placed at my feet. So seemingly, I pull the thread and it, it goes off into the woods. Off into, you know, woods. Yeah. So I decided to follow it. Following a fairy thread, I was tricked and I was led to understand the things they said and then sing them to you. And they told me of their troubles and they told me of their woes of corporate dollars soon to log their forest homes with logging roads. This spot and it was stunningly beautiful. There were waterfalls and, and pools and, uh, and the thread didn't come to an end right there. All this information came to me so obviously I had to write the song. And they want to log Mount Elphinstone and put up a few retirement homes and the watershed will no longer flow. They'll take the cash and go. And they want to log Mount Elphinstone. They will if they get the chance. And if they log Mount Elphinstone, where will the fairies dance? They'll sell the land and build and pay The top dollar will be paid and made But look at the lovely park they saved As the watershed runs dry And on the side of Elphinstone I fell into a trance On the side of Elphinstone I saw the fairies dance And they want to log Mount Elphinstone And they will not forget the chance And if they log Mount Elphinstone Where will the fairies dance? And then of course there's another thread here which is my current use of technology uh, to document this, as I'm doing here with my iPhone uh, in the woods. And our ability to take this land of fairy, this land of imagination, this land of play, and do something with it through the electromagnetic spectrum, so zeros and ones of electricity, to, uh, to make the imagined real.